kuchukua point nikataka kujua nani anaishi kwa boma yangu so i went i nikaenda kwa chief akanipea barua nikaenda nipeleke kufika kule that lady akaniambia nyumba aliuziwa and there's no way she can work it mimi nikaha nikampea barua and then i left that was on a monday yeah the on wednesday we had to go to chief sasa so tukaenda akauliza maswali hiyo nyumba alipata aje anaishi huko aje akasema she had given given out the down payment hmm. so it was not fully paid no it was not fully paid uh, and then nikamuuliza okay it's okay cause hata mimi naweza enda kwa shop niniwe kitu did you did you ulifanya search cause nilikuwa nimeweka mpaka kafi So she was like no. I was like okay. Then that house is not yours. Tumevutana Doris. Nimetamak kwa chief. But luckily I got my home back. I got my home back. I fought. I fought. I fought. I fought. I got my home back. Cuz nikitoka huko I prayed. Na nikaambia Mungu Mungu, you are the genesis to all marriages. My marriage ni kama imefika, imefika mwisho. But God there is one thing I know. Hii boma ni ya watoto wangu. Yeah. Nilikuwa nimehold hiyo. Hii boma ni ya watoto wangu. So, after all, Mungu akanijalia na nikapata nyumba, nyumba yangu. Mhm. Sasa mashida ndio zitaanza kuingia Doris. Tumezikana sasa. Mm-hmm. Kila mtu amerudi kwake. Mm-hmm. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. What First, about the kids now? The kids mm-hmm. wako shule. Mm-hmm. Imagine. You're paying or are they supporting you? No. You're not using the money that your husband had. I didn't access in the account of my husband till now i tried there's one i knew ilikuwa kcb nikaenda huko i went to kcb kikuyu i took a chini na manager na nikamuelezea but akaangalia kwa account akaniambia this account is dormant so haina kitu ata 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 the one nilikuwa nimeambiwa kama nimeulizwa kama ni mimi nime withdraw pesa it was equity mambaka sasa yeye mjai jua ni nani ali withdraw it was your wife jua that was that that was that mm-hmm. it was forgotten so kumaanisha being a widow really need strength Doris, being a widow need strength you have to be prayer kwa hakuna mtu atatoka huko kwa njia ama kwa barabara akuja kusaidia believe me even your own sisters i can imagine when maybe you manage to fight because you have a job you have people who supported you mm-hmm. you can imagine someone who doesn't have anything Doris, i did have a job then till now i do not have a job wow Remember my son my elder son was in form 3 Sina job that time mzee wangu alikuwa amekataa kabisa nifanye kazi You are not working Why hufanye kazi Ezina myang okay my, my husband was older than me 14 years Mhm unaona yeye yeah. ndiye kaa hapo Mm-hmm. Ni nini makosa? Kaapo utakapo. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So I didn't have a job. Here is my son, form 3. Uh, my second born alikuwa class 6. Mm-hmm. And my last born alikuwa play group. Doris. It was, it was not easy. well with me. It wasn't well with me. Wow. Nilikuwa natokwa na wazimu. Nikaanza kuenda vibarua. Kufuria watu, 
watoto wasome watoto wasome kupigia watu chapo mwenye anataka kupika kupikiwa chapo naenda kumpikia chapo mwenye ako na either birthday nini nini hivyo kazi hivyo that's how i survived till my first born son akamaliza form 4 the second born sai yako form 3 ameingia form 4 sasa mm-hmm. I've struggled Doris na hawa watoto. All alone. All alone without friends. Did you have friends before who were Oh my dear Doris I had friends. Uh-huh. Tena wangwana. This uh-huh. time I was married. Tena wangwana sana. Mm, wako na kazi. <laughs> But time nilianza sasa mwana wangu ilianza kuimba imba. Sijawahi ona mtu hata mmoja there was no one who was really genuine kuna mmoja mama mmoja alikuwa genuine mm-hmm. but time alisikia my husband is no more hata naye akakata so so i was left all alone doris ilifika mahali nikaingilia ponde yes wow. cuz i need peace of mind you drink or to live yes yes why lie that's me i'm talking through experience pombe kwa club niende tu at least nipate kitu kidogo nipate usingizi but my god is faithful siku kasa na kwa pombe nikaona okay nikikunywa pombe na watoto ah oh, watoto yeah nitawaacha mm. na hakuna mtu nitawaachia okay. my mom is old imefika mahali my sisters i remember one of my sisters telling me alius kikuyu cause aliongea kwa kikuyu mm. akasema niweke ile mbuli kodo kusoka usaira mimi mm-hmm. hakuna mtu nitakuwa natembelea sasa hakuna bomba nitakuwa natembea ama nuna this is your real sister my real sister sitamtaja jina but i love her so much my real sister So you had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go till today. I'm always alone. Do you still have your parents? No. Unfortunately, I lost my mom this year, April. Holy. She had pneumonia, acute. Na ikambeba tu hivyo. Was she supportive before? Okay. Let me say my dad died 2015. So my mom hata yeye alikuwa na experience widowhood yeah yeah so alikuwa ananielewa somehow mm-hmm. okay hapo anani support sana kifedha but alikuwa ananielewa as in akiona niko chini mawazo nini nini sometimes she could call me na niambia please my daughter don't do this don't do this don't do this and i thank my mom so much because she was a church lady yeah. my mom wala wa mama aliingia chat yeye akiwa wadogo na unajua hizo enzi zao mm-hmm. wakiingia chat ni wa chat mm-hmm. so hakuna kutoka hakuna nini hata akikuona ukifanya mkosa wewe hapana no mm-hmm. you are not in the right track unaona so yeah. my mom was somehow supportive but now she is no more so i'm all alone Doris. how do you get money because umetuambia ufanye kazi yes. how do you support your kids now today what i do uh-huh. wacha niseme tu hizo vibarua wacha niziite vibarua mhm uh-huh. nikienda mahali najua kitari uh-huh. mtu akiwa na birthday kama kuna meeting mahali kama kuna ka event mahali uh-huh. that's how i'm surviving uh-huh. yes but uh-huh. i'm not in that job that permanent job yeah. naweza kaa hata wiki moja ama, ama wiki mbili uh-huh. bila kufanya kazi na ile familia ya bwana yako walirudi kufuatilia maybe watoto wanasoma aje. Mm. So kila ambacho ulipata tu kwa hiyo nyumba ni kwa hiyo familia ni hii nyumba tu nyumba yangu. Hiyo tu. Na mimi nilifuatilia. Ni mimi nilimangania. I remember tulikuwa tuende na wao kwa chief. But walimpigia simu akaniambia kunajua kumenyesha sana hatutaweza kukuja. That was it. Till wow. now. Okay. So about now widowship my viewers 
you had the hardship ambayo sera amepitia like amepitia zile changamoto like wanako ameenda so familia yako haikufuatilii tena you are all alone you have kids this thing can cause depression if you are not strong enough and luckily she she came out of what she went through i'm i'm pretty sure whatever you are come on the other na hiyo pombe you could have just gone into depression ni nini imefanya kabisa imekufanya you look pretty by the way you're so pretty ukisema una job somebody i don't they can't even believe that you don't have a job but i like how you are strong i just want you to tell any other widow outside there like what is it really keeping you ni nini nakufanya move forward usigo back to those depression again to look good the way you are right now to make me nifanya nilingia church and i told god i want to see you mm-hmm. let me ask you one question Doris. why did god say i'm the father to the fatherless i'm the husband to the widows he knew yeah. he knew the hardships the discrimination the rege- he knew widowhood is not a bed of roses huwa wanasema marriage is not a bed of roses but believe you me Doris better marriage better marriage msumbuane na bwanako kama kuna makosa mnakaa chini mnaongea better marriage and I'll tell this to the married women sometimes huwa wanasema singlehood is better good. Mm-hmm. or it's better mm-hmm. you are deceiving yourselves you are deceiving yourselves because marriage ina kupea title mm-hmm. na security yeah mimi kuna mahali siwezi enda as a widow ceremonies i won't be involved why is it kimila ama ni <laughs> i won't be involved cuz as in right now mm-hmm. i'm a threat to someone i'm a threat to that married woman oh yeah yes. yeah i'm a threat to this yeah. yes even that ceremony unaona how we tree as in equal to the village but you are like from the land yeah somehow because yeah. for one ukiwa single unare threat hiyo ni shida watoto wako wasome hiyo mm-hmm. ni shida yeah ukae vizuri hiyo ni shida doris unachukua wanaume wa wenyewe that's there yeah people think that oh yes uwezi peke yako uwezi peke yako in fact hakuna kitu a widow anaweza simamisha that's their mentality hakuna hakuna kitu naweza na tunafaa kutoa hiyo mentality oh, yes. by the way because oh, yes. people out there are widows me have seen na wanasimama you can't tell me it because you are a widow wewe usomesha mtoto wako mm-hmm. if you are that person mwenye unapenda watoto mm-hmm. you are passionate about what you want wewe ziacha watoto wako wakae it because you are a widow you have to wake up and move and you people who are married you never know about tomorrow mm-hmm. whether you are a man you can lose your wife whether you are a woman you can lose your husband mm-hmm. support these people yes. you know I'm, i brought you here because i feel it i feel it i know mm-hmm. so can we tell the people outside there like instead of them kuongelelea Why can they even start something like a group let's go visit Sarah yes. how is she go, going through because to be it's me tomorrow it's you, you never know tomorrow people mm-hmm. yeah so like you are here to talk to them tell them tell the viewers about yeah the strength that you are you are supposed to have okay we know it is not a choice mm-hmm. no yeah it's not a choice it's a circumstance unajipata yeah as in myself i couldn't imagine myself as a widow no mm-hmm. even that time you parted nilikuwa naomba tu nilea hao watoto wangu tukikuta na wewe mwanaume kwa streets na robi eh ataangalia watoto wake atasema i didn't expect that unaona so usidharau njale so for one i thank the holy book Mm-hmm. bible yeah cause mjane machozi yake inaendanga kwa mungu as in furaha ya mjane 
very mjane ako chachi na dio maana insemekana usikawai cheza na mjane cuz akiomba mungu mlipishia mungu mlipisha mlipishia wajane so you married women kindly usikawai dharau mjane remember you don't know about tomorrow and so shit happens yeah shit happens Bones. Banako anatoka kwa nyumba asubuhi na unapigiwa simu kama ilivyopokea. Unapata his normal. Here you are. Huyo mjane huko unataka kumuona? Huko unataka kusikia maneno yake? Mwaliwa katikati. Katikati, yeah. What will you do? Sasa utaanza kumtafuta. Cuz dunia itakufunza. Yeah. And you'll be all alone. A widow is always alone. Why like this? She's always alone. Like myself, I have a friend. <laughs> There was a time with Mwambia. I called her. Uko wapi? She lied to me. Hayuko kwa nyumba. And I knew very well alikuwa kwa nyumba. Siko. Na ile time na happened kwenda kwake, anaangalia time. Time ya bwana ya kutoka job ikikaribia ndio huyo sasa unaona she's a busy and busy utoke atoke wala akupate hataki akupate hataki akupate i don't know that mentality huwa ina toka wapi unaona so please guys widowhood if at all you are not in widowhood hata eh? usitarajie yeah na usiombe mungu akufikishe hapo cause if at all you are not strong enough for sure you will die depression kufa depression what have you done sarah like it's good you are here today i like how courageous you are you know sikila mtu atakuja aongelele story yake yeah. in public mm-hmm. and have you ever thought of maybe kutafuta wale because your story is really touching mm-hmm. to those people who really understand yeah. have you ever thought of maybe kuanzisha uh, meetings or something to talk about to talk to widows umoi watafuta waongeleshe like Uh, whatever they should do they should not go have you thought of such a thing yes i've been thinking about that mm-hmm. i have to so far mm-hmm. we've been sharing talking but that has been my expectation mm-hmm. doris i'm looking forward to that mm-hmm. if at all we can be 5 10 mm-hmm. going somewhere like in a room we will open up yeah you put everything on like a therapy oh yes because akuna mtu mwenye ayuko kwa ajaibitia condition yako ataelewa kile ambacho unaendea unaendea yes. unaende, yani what you are going through yes. so the moment you come up with these people you talk you share mm-hmm. you know if you get that courage yes. and that's the time muta, you can do something alone akuna siku utasema you will fight alone you have to be a team you can yes you can't you have to be a team yeah. Maurice, mm-hmm. and let me tell you if there are people who are genuine widows yeah they are very genuine okay. to one another cuz me don't is utakuja kwangu utakwambia you know what hadi watoto wangu hawakula jana leo sina ata i have nothing and that other lady atakufeel and mimi hata kama mimi shawa iletewa ugali na mama amepika ugali kwa i that day i had nothing to give to my kids that lady alienda kwake akapika ugali akakata ugali na half akaweka kwa dish na tusukuma akaniletea akaniambia Sara you know what huwezi mm. lalanja shikai kwa wow. watoto i went i went doris cuz deep down in my heart i have sisters i have brothers who are well up but sionangi mtu wow up to date doris sionangi mtu So I think because of the time I I wish to have you again in this show you are such an inspiring lady I thank you for coming it's really mentally actually me I've never got touched mm-hmm. and now if I find a widow out there I know how to treat because I feel you I feel my feel you in your back yet you have so the final word to the viewers outside there Uh, just talk to them how they can treat her in short yen in summary just talk about that widowship uh, people out there 
kindly, kindly, don't discriminate a widow. Those kids, they need you as a community. As widows, we need love. We need to be loved by you out there. We need you to feel us. We need you to understand us. We need you to be there for us, at least, to see kama, to call the same community. But mukituacha, mukitueka kando, who do we belong to? Are we not in the same country? Are we not in the same community as you or with you? Kindly. God is their fighter. Mungu diyo na wapigania. And if at all you come across, a widow na wanza kumangana na yeye, utajibu kwa mungu. Majibu yako utayapa. Na it's very painful. Mungu wakipigania mjane, it's very painful. So, usigojee mjane ya pigania na mungu. That's what I can see. Wow. So, before you had imekuwa powerful message staki ku add staki ku subtract if you listen well to her story you will understand what they have really gone through not only her but to some others out there i wish we have another time next time with her also i look for a time because i feel like she has a very long story and a real message because for me i've been touched thank you so much for being in my show sarah and I hope the listeners are going to listen and I know they are going to into into uh, practice yeah. what you've told them. Till another time in the Dori Sambu talk show, my name is Dori Sambu. Bye-bye. Um.